decided to share some new learning about engagement. We would all love to see students this engaged all the time, and research supports strong correlations between engagement and achievement. I hadn't realized before that student engagement is multifaceted. Students have to be behaviorally engaged, which means students have to actually do work, which is no surprise. But it's easy to get fixed on the behavioral engagement piece because it looks like a highly managed, compliant classroom. But students also need to be cognitively engaged, meaning that students' minds are on the work. We can tell they're cognitively engaged by the questions students ask and the interactions they have with one another as well as the teacher. Emotional engagement means that there is a sense of excitement or humor or energy around the work. Research has actually found 15 positive behaviors and actions that teachers can perform to help engage students. These are not listed in any particular order. The first one has to do with eliciting student responses. Calling on students at random is found to be more engaging than just posing a question and waiting for kids to respond. Latency, or wait time, allows students to think over a question before answering. It's appropriate to allow five or more seconds as an effective time to wait before asking for responses, assisting a student, or moving on to the next question or task. Probably not surprising is that providing help increases student engagement. Help can be teacher or student initiated and can include anything like instructional help or pulling in additional materials or resources. When students provide partial answers, they need redirection or should provide clarification, teachers can delve or dig deeper by rephrasing or providing additional information to assist a student in responding to a question or prompt. Incorporating higher level questioning or extension is powerful in engagement because it requires students not just to settle for remembering an answer. Instead, they have to apply, synthesize, or evaluate previous knowledge. Teachers can increase student engagement through giving verbal or nonverbal affirmation, such as a thumbs up or good job or that sort of thing. It's just a quick acknowledgement in private or in front of the class to honor a student's thinking or actions. Similar to affirmation is giving students specific praise about their thinking, work, or behavior, and spelling out why it's worthy of being noticed. It's worth considering that in a typical classroom, there is an abundance of affirmation shown but considerably less specific praise. As simple as this one is, you can engage students by listening to them and maintaining eye contact, thus making them feel heard and understood. This contributes to the emotional engagement component. As you know, students bring their own feelings and emotions to the classroom, especially at the high school level. When a teacher recognizes, accepts, and as it's appropriate, supports the feelings of a student, that student will feel more engaged in a lesson. Proximity. I like this visual. A teacher moving into arm's reach to a targeted student has the largest effect size on engagement. This bears repeating. Just being close to a student is the single greatest way to engage a student. So be intentional in moving around your room and how your classroom is set up. Seek students' ideas, thoughts, and opinions. When you can probe or assign a task that sparks inquiry or interest on the part of the students, they're going to be more engaged. Courtesy. Use phrases such as please and thank you to express courtesy to individual students. You might be surprised just how much this small act means to students, but consider for a second how much you appreciate small acts of kindness and respect. The more you can connect to a student's personal interests or experience and connect those things to your content, the more hooked students will be to learn. Connecting to students' interests begins with building relationships with students. Touch is really simple, but when it's used intentionally and in a supportive manner, a teacher's touch is shown to demonstrate regard and it also helps to redirect a student who is off task or misbehaving. Speaking of misbehaving, when you notice a student is not engaged or is off task, talking to them in a calm, courteous way that doesn't demean the student can desist the action and can direct the student to stop his or her current behavior. So these are the 15 research-based behaviors that teachers can practice to increase student engagement. Some were probably pretty obvious, while a couple may have been surprising. If you're interested in how frequently you model these behaviors with a class or an individual student, 
The Indies would be happy to share this tool or come visit your classroom and track the data for you. Thanks, and I hope this was helpful.